shall we begin? Hello. Where did you go to preschool? Let's hit the road. Get you off to preschool. What? And I'm dead home. Well, that's that done. Now time to get to work and uh, enjoy the weather, hopefully. I love it when the weather's like this. It just makes such a massive difference. Well, it does to my mood anyway. Apparently we've got a few days of it. The summer has returned. Yeah. And Sophie said she would like to go in the pool later. So I'm gonna have to get the old solar generator out and pop the pump on for that. Because otherwise they'll get some kind of horrific disease and they don't want that. Okay, got the pump. Need the solar generator, then we'll hook all this up and get the pool water nice and clean for later. And then we plug it in. Now we just have to wait a good few hours, and uh, obviously, Sophie needs to get back from work, and I'd need to get Jasper from preschool, and then it will be time for them to have a swim. I might talk to you guys about uh, how to build a solar generator as well. Time to get Jasper. Hear that? Open the door a crack a few minutes ago so that the aircon would be running at full power by the time I wanted to get in the car. I could have used the app to uh, start the aircon, but one of the problems with the app is that it can take a little while to connect up. That's actually a problem with all the apps. For all the electric cars, at least as far as I know. At least I'm getting into a car that isn't roastingly roasting. Ooh, I think I might damage my GoPro here by leaving it in the sun. That wasn't sensible. Right, let's go get Jasper. Jazzy, where did you go in the swimming pool? Okay, the first thing to do, I've got to disconnect the pump. The instructions were very clear on that point. Oh, 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 oh. This isn't nice. <laughs> oh, oh no, oh no, I'll put it out again. It's, it's, it's... Is it too cold? Look. It was a bit cold. It was a bit cold. You were in there for what? How long? Two, two minutes? One minute? Was 30 seconds? All right, well, um, that wasn't exactly a success. Legs. So today I'm going to talk about uh, solar generators. Yeah, which are useful and specifically how I built one. It's not particularly complicated. This should only take a minute. This thing is humongously heavy. Let's have a quick look. So this is the uh, big solar generator that I built. Certainly it's overkill for keeping your phone charged on a camping trip. So what we got is we've got four 12 amp hour, 12 volt batteries. Now I've linked these batteries in parallel. The amp hours add up and the voltage stays the same because they're all plugged into 12 volt solar panels. So it just makes sense. And the power feeds from here into the charge controller. The charge controller has got an input cable for a solar panel, so I can plug a solar panel or multiple solar panels into that. And it's also got another cable that goes off and out to this little 10 watt solar panel on the outside, which is just a sort of, you know, a boost really. This charge controller has got a built-in 
voltmeter on it because you can tell from the voltage how charged up the batteries are so these are fairly charged but they've just spent the whole day running the pump on the swimming pool which they're not using today but they'll use tomorrow the, the problem is the sun has gone down a bit too much now and it just isn't warm enough so anyway um how do you go about building something like this so what you need is you need a charge controller a solar panel a battery and if you want to be able to run main stuff you need an inverter which will turn the direct current from the battery into alternating current. If you want to up the power and all you've got is a bunch of small batteries, like I've got, then what you do is you connect them up, positive to positive to positive to positive, and you connect up the negatives as well. And then what you do is you just take all of those connected positives and connected negatives, and those are the two terminals of your newly bigger battery. If you connect up positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, and then the end positive and negatives are your terminals for the battery, then what you've done is connect up uh, the batteries in series. So in this case, I'd wind up with 12 amp hours and 48 volts. Now I don't want a 48 volt battery. That's the basics. It's a lot of cabling and you need to be a bit careful because lead acid batteries are a bit um, explosive if you short circuit them. You can get all of these um, bits and bobs to build your own solar generator from, I actually got, I think everything from here came from Maplin, which is a great place. It's also not the cheapest for components like this. So I got the solar panels from a place called Sunshine Solar in the UK, because they do uh, a very wide variety of solar panels, which was brilliant and for sort of casual camping where you just want to charge a mobile phone and run some lights at night i don't recommend something this big it's uh it weighs like 20 plus kilos but i have a smaller one and whilst i still wouldn't recommend that you uh carry this up a mountain it weighs about half what the other one does here we've just got two batteries in parallel and a little charge controller hidden away there and i think that's a uh, seven watt solar five watts five watt solar panel on the outside give it a bit of trickle charge what i tend to do is again i plug in a proper 40 watt external solar panel when the sun's up but again it's you know i mean this is still fairly weighty and this one can't produce mains power because it doesn't have an inverter so in its most basic form this solar generator is nothing more than a lead acid battery an inverter a charge controller and a load of cabling. So what you do, is you've got your charge controller here, and see at the bottom it says battery, solar, load. Well, battery one goes off to the battery. The solar one goes off to the solar panel. I'm sure you could work that out for yourselves. And the load one is whatever you want to power with this solar generator. And you can pick these up for about seven quid from Sunshine Solar. Probably get them from Maplin's as well, to be honest. By far and away, the most efficient way to power things with a solar generator is to keep everything at 12 volts because when you convert the power from 12 volts to 240 there's obviously losses involved well i hope you all have a good evening and i'll see you tomorrow for the next installment of my daily vlog bye Come on, lean forward. Get his lipstick. Lipstick?